What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another player review on my channel. Now today guys, we are going to be looking at a player that's been heavily requested by a lot of you. There have been a lot of people that have requested me to do this player review and now we are going to be doing it. And of course it is going to be on Moses Simon. He is a Nigerian striker, he is 67 overall at the age of 19 and his value at the start of career mode is 525,000. He doesn't really have too much value to him, so you could probably pick him up regardless of what team that you are. Despite all of this, he doesn't actually have a potential status at the beginning of career mode. It just says that he's been at the club since 2014, so that means that his potential really isn't that good. But hopefully we will see him reach a high overall. And now taking a little look at his stats, we're going to start off with his physical attributes. And they look very, very nice. His acceleration, sprint speed, agility and balance are already very, very good. 68 attack positioning and 63 vision, which is pretty high for a striker to be honest. His skill attributes aren't exactly the best. He's got a lot of reds. They're not really that well-rounded, although he does have good finishing to begin with and good dribbling as well. But this is where Moses Simon really does start to get good, especially at the beginning of career mode. He's got 5-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves. That is really, really ideal to have for a striker. It says he can only play on the right wing, but I'm pretty sure that he will do just as fine on the left wing. He also has the acrobat speciality as well to begin with. But now that we've taken a little look at what he looks like at the beginning of career mode, we're going to take a little look at what he looks like at full potential, what his stats look like and whether he is actually worth you buying. After 8 seasons in career mode, Moses Simon gets to an 89 overall at the age of 27. He's had a massive increase in his value as well. He's now worth £42 million and that really is a massive increase from the 500000 that he is worth at the beginning of career mode. But now we're going to have a little look at his stats at full potential and we're going to look at his physical attributes first. He's got some really, really good acceleration, sprint speed, agility. That was already high to begin with but now it's just really, really good. All in the 90s there. Really good balance, good reactions as well. He's got good attack positioning and again, very, very good vision for a striker. As with a lot of these players that we seem to review, they have really ridiculous ball control and dribbling and that always seems to be in the high 90s. 93 finishing, 96 short passing, 97 shot power and 93 long shots as well as 88 volleys. Really, really good well-rounded stats considering these skill attributes were pretty terrible at the beginning. They've really developed into something special to be honest. For the specialities that Moses Simon has, he has speedster, dribbler, distance shooter, acrobat, clinical finisher and he also has the complete forward speciality. But now that we've taken a look at his stats, we're going to see what he plays like at full potential and whether you should buy him or not for your career mode and we're going to evaluate his pros and cons. But now that we've taken a little look at Moses Simon, we are going to be moving on to the gameplay for Moses Simon. Why he's such a good player, we're going to be finding that out right now. And we're going to start things off with what is so good about Moses Simon. What makes him such a good player and what makes him such a good player to have up front. And to begin with, he's got really, really good dribbling. And I say that a lot in these player reviews, but it seems like a lot of these players seem to have very, very good dribbling, ball control. And very good agility as well. I mean, Moses Simon, the ball just sticks to his feet. And that really is brilliant. You'll see in this clip here that I'm just cutting inside. I'm very unlucky not to score there. It was a brilliant run by Moses Simon. And he's just so good at that. Combined with his amazing pace, it makes it very easy to get past defenders. I know, once again, that all of these defenders I'm playing against are A-League defenders. They're not that great. But it still is good to see that Moses Simon is able to do that. And if he's able to do that against these defenders, I'm pretty sure he will do it against any defender in any league that you are playing in in your career mode. Like I said, he's got really, really good sprint speed. So he has a great ability to get around defenders using his pace. And he can play, well, he can play out wide or he can play down the middle. And that's what I really like about this guy. He's so versatile. And that means that if you need him to play on the wing, he will do just that. And he will do just as good a job down the middle as on the wing, basically. He may even be better suited as a winger, to be honest, because he's got medium, medium work rates. But I will talk about that a little bit later on, his work rates. And whether that is an issue with his work rates, I'll talk about that a little bit later on. 
Of course, another pro that I've got to talk about is that five-star weak foot. And that just means that, well, it makes him even more versatile than he already is. He can already play on the wing. He's got the stats to do so. But combined with the five-star weak foot, it just means that you're not worried when you're getting into the box with this guy. Because you can shoot on either foot, basically, left or right. And you know that it's going to find the back of the net most of the time. And if it doesn't, then it's certainly going to be close to finding the back of the net. I've played with players such as Ezekiel, actually, which I reviewed the other day. He's got two-star weak foot. And you just really fear when you get onto his weak foot because you just know it's going to go wide. But the five-star weak foot that he does have, combined with the skill moves, it's really, really nice to have a striker. Because Ezekiel, of course, when I did review him, I know I'm comparing Ezekiel a lot. But when I did review him, he only had 3-star skills. This guy has 4-star skills. And you could really feel a difference. Because it was a lot easier to get around defenders. And it just meant a lot more creativity when going forward. You could do a lot more going forward with Moses Simon than you could with Ezekiel. And that, well, that makes him more of a fun player to play with, really. I'm sure a lot of you guys agree. Having a player with skill moves is just a lot more fun. If this goal had have gone into the back of the net, honestly, that would have been the highlight of... Moses Simon because he really is good and it's a shame that he couldn't get that one into the back of the net but now we're going to be moving on to what makes Moses Simon a bad player he's very very good but he does have some well drawbacks I guess as to why you shouldn't buy him one of them being that he does have pretty poor stamina so you're not going to be able to play him constantly every single match game in game out full 90 minutes you're going to have to give him a rest sometime otherwise he is susceptible to being injured you know if you're playing him game in game out uh, for the full 90 minutes which I do not recommend because his stamina really is pretty poor and I guess there's always got to be something bad about a player and that really is certainly something that you've got to be wary of with Moses Simon as well as that he doesn't really make the runs required sometimes for a striker if you're playing him as a lone striker or a two striker he's only got well medium medium work rate so that could be a bit of an issue and if you are planning on playing him down the middle don't expect to find him in the best position sometimes sometimes he'll be in the right position at the right time but other times it is a little bit inconsistent so just be wary of that but apart from that, there's not really too much else to say about Moses Simon. He's a really, really good player. And I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8 out of 10. It's a little bit harsh. I probably could have given him higher. But there are a few main areas that really are drawbacks to me you know the stamina really is a bit of an issue I want to be playing him all the time and that stamina really does affect me playing him all the time because of course he will get injured if you just continuously play him and the medium medium work rates as well is a bit annoying but if you have enjoyed this player review guys make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already as it really does help out my channel guys and make sure to suggest other players that you want me to review either for this game or or for FIFA 16 as well, because FIFA 16 is just round the corner. So if you want me to review any player when the game comes out, let me know in the comments down below, guys. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.